President of the Republic of the Philippines, His Excellency... For Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte, it's the equivalent of the President Sona. She makes her entrance several steps behind President Bongbong Marcos. This basic education report is Duterte's first major public event in 2024. It's also her first since Congress removed her request for millions of confidential funds, a move influenced by Marcos Cousin, House Speaker Martin Romaldez. Vice President Sara Duterte is now on her second year as Education Secretary. She admits that there is a huge learning gap in the country which is a result of decades-old neglect and underinvestment. To solve that learning gap, Duterte makes big promises. Teachers will be relieved of administrative tasks so they could focus on teaching. They will receive overtime and overload pay. They will get insurance from the GSIS. All this will require funding, so Duterte says she will ask Congress for more money in the next budget cycle. To ensure its effective implementation along with the filling up of 5,000 administrative personnel for 2023 and another 5,000 administrative personnel for 2024, we will also be providing additional MOOE to enable our schools to hire the necessary administrative support staff. Duterte faced strong criticism late last year when budget deliberations revealed her office used up millions in confidential funds in a matter of days. They criticized her, having had confidential funds in the first place. Neither the Office of the Vice President nor the Department of Education are involved in military operations. A few days before this speech, Duterte announced she would run in the next elections, which is in 2025. She didn't say what position she would run for. It's a puzzle because her term as the vice president doesn't end until 2028. In December, Duterte openly defied Marcos, disagreeing with his move to resume peace talks with communist rebels. The NDFP in Oslo was an agreement with the devil. Speculations are rife that the rapport between the so-called unit team is not what it used to be. But for now, Duterte plays the part of a doting education chief and a second fiddle to Marcos. Bonds Magsambol Rappler, Pasay City.